For the first time ever in South Korea, a transgender woman who went through sex change surgery has been admitted to a woman's university. On January 30th, Sungmyung Women's University said that a 22-year-old transgender female who asked to stay anonymous was accepted as a freshman for the upcoming spring semester in the Department of Law. The 22-year-old has been reported to have received legal permission to change her gender from a male to a female last October before the National College entrance exam. She said that she had gone through a gender reassignment surgery last August in Thailand. As the beginning of her resident registration number has been changed from 1, referring to males, to 2, which is the number females are classified with in Korea, the university deemed that there was no problem in screening the then 21-year-old as an eligible candidate. This is the first time ever a transgender student has been admitted into a woman's university. Sung Myung said that there had never been any school rules to limit transgender females from entering the academic institution, but this case was simply just the first. As of now, the transgender female is reported to have been accepted to Sung Myung Women's University's Department of Law, but did not make her choice as of to actually enroll from this coming March. In an interview with a Korean news outlet, the potential freshman of Sung Myung said that she had applied to the Department of Law with her respect for Park Han Hee, the first transgender lawyer in Korea who changed her gender to a female. Park is a prominent lawyer in Korea that came out in spring of 2014 and has been promoting LGBTQIA rights ever since. Following Park's footsteps, the soon-to-be Sungmyung Women's University student said that Korean society still has a long way to go to accept diverse individuals. The 22-year-old also shed light on Pyeon Hee-soo, who had caught the attention of the public after being dismissed by the military for violating regulations after going through sex change. Pyeon had joined the army as a man but had gender reassignment surgery last year after suffering from gender dysphoria and mental health issues. After her sex change, though, the military classified her to be unable to continue service, which led to debates over the treatment of transgender soldiers as well as those from the wider LGBTQ community.